Good morning, everyone. This is Kathy, and welcome to Old to New. Now, I am using one of Becky's um, magazines. Now, this is spring of 2019, and this is the layout that I will be scrap lifting. I um, did a video yesterday for Punched Out Thursday to Die For, and I showed you how... I just kind of wrap twine around um, the flowers. These flowers are from close to my heart. And let me grab them here. They are in the core catalog, 21, 22 catalog. And they are layered flowers, Z4324. I will have that linked below. I had a lot of fun creating, layering, and creating these flowers. And I wanted to dress them up a little bit by um, wrapping them with twine. Just kind of give it some color. And there's those. And I love this yellow one. It was perfect for wrapping the twine around. So I'm just going to use... Um, two three by four photo mounts. I didn't bring any photos with me, so I love the brightness and how colorful this layout turned out. Now, the paper that I cut these out of, I'm using Becky's um, Horizon collection from Paige Evans, and I just hold anything with rainbow colors because <laughs> you know that's my favorite thing to scrap I love rainbows and then having two granddaughters helps me continue loving rainbows because I could put a couple pictures of Riley and Lily on this page and it's just kind of I, I love the big flowers and I didn't put any leaves on them because I liked the shapes like they are. Sometimes I'll add leaves and other times I won't. Now I'm putting foam adhesive on this. And I'm just going to pop it up a little bit. And I am using close to my heart foam adhesive. And I end up moving that. I just couldn't get it to work, so I moved it over to the other side. I love how I chose yellow to be the background paper and then used a couple yellow but decorated it with twine and and it, it still looks fine and with those blue and pinkish purple flowers. I just think it all ties in wonderful. I did use a jelly roll from close to my heart to outline the tag. And I'm pulling in some bits of bobs that Becky had on my layout. The little chipboard. And I couldn't decide what to use for a title. So I, I pulled these labels and kind of tuck them and I'm just gonna write a little who's in the photo or whatever the date off camera I ink this with sapphire ink and it kind of goes with the blue in that flower I went ahead off camera and tied a bow gluing that on and now for my title. I struggle so, so much with um, trying to figure out what kind of title I want. Especially if I don't have any photos. So I'm just going to glue on Love You. And I'm bringing in that yellow. Just a little hint of yellow, I think, looks good with the other colors. I don't think I could ever do a yellow monochromatic page with 
with yellow. Just not one of my favorite colors. Now, I, I love the little bits of yellow that's showing. I found this little label and it says family fun. I'm going to put that on the left photo and then I'm going to pop dot but you'll see here in a minute I had the bow that I already glued on my button. It was upside down so I had to remove the adhesive <laughs> and um, see there's where I realized that the was upside down so I had to in fact I ruined I didn't want to put a foam adhesive over my photo so that way I could tuck it the photo under that flower whenever I get a photo or if I might get rid of this layout and just have someone else be able to put photos on there all right, so I like that, and it's lifted up. All right, I like how that is. Okay. Oh, I was peeling off the paper on the back of that chipboard. That was from Freckle Fawn, I believe. Let me see. Yes, freckled fawn, chipboard pieces. So I thought I'd use a couple of them. All right, that's the end of my layout. I splattered with my favorite white, white gloss spray from Close to My Heart. Here are some close-ups, and I hope you like this layout I did. And take care, everybody. Bye-bye.